What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Brad 89 here bringing you another video today. And for today's video, you already know, you clicked on this video. We're gonna go over my kind of most anticipated for the rest of the year. I know we're already in December, so I only got, what was it, 24, 25 days left of, you know, kind of watching stuff throughout this year pretty much before we get to the end and it's New Year's and Christmas and all that. And then it's hard to get anything in at that time. So yes, today we're gonna discuss five films that I really want to try to get watched during this December time before we get into the new year so I can get them reviewed, get them on the list and ranking for the films that I've seen this year because I'm close to 60. I'm almost at 60 films that I've seen for 2023. So let's get into this video. And these films are going to be in no particular order at all or anything like that. This isn't a ranking. These are just a, a typical list of five films that I'm dying to see for this December. So let's do this. Roll it. So let's kick this list off right away. Like I said, this isn't a ranking list, but first off, the first film that I want to get knocked down, and I really wanted to do this for Thanksgiving because it is a Thanksgiving holiday horror film, and that's Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. I've heard so many good things about it. I've had some things here and there spoiled for me, mainly that it's just very positive. I've watched non-spoiler reviews, and it's just basically positive thoughts. It's a really good slasher, got some awesome kills, and it's already been greenlit for a sequel so I'm excited for it and Eli Roth has already talked about that he wants to come back to direct the sequel as well so I'm excited this is a film that I've been pumped for I've been eager to see so yes Thanksgiving makes the list as one of the films that I'm dying to see for this December next up we have another film that I missed out on in the theaters and this one mainly because I'm not too big on this franchise but I have seen every film in this franchise and that's Saw X, and this was one that, like I said, I wasn't really rushing out to the theaters to go see or anything, so this is another one. I'll probably actually try to do this one today. So right after I do this video and I have this editing and uploading, I'll probably just do Saw X on VOD because I believe it's like $5.99 to rent it right now, and I'll rent it and then watch it and everything, so I can kind of get that one done and already in the box. But yeah, Saw franchise is just one that it doesn't call to me. It doesn't pull me back in. I don't really like the characters. Oh my god, I just dropped my phone. I don't really like the characters and stuff like that. So it's just, it's a film that, films that don't, you know, really speak to me and everything like that. So yeah, Saw X is one that I'm definitely going to try to squeeze in during this December. Next up, we have The Iron Claw. And this one I'm really looking forward to because I'm a huge wrestling fan. And this is going to be a very tragic real life storytelling of um, the Von Erichs. I know there's going to be some kind of probably embellishments and some things are going to be kind of, you know, dramatized for the big screen and everything. But I heard that this film is going to really go in depth on the Von Erichs and we're going to see a lot of stuff. And like I said, me being a huge wrestling fan, I know a lot about this family and I can guarantee you that I'm going to be crying during this film. Plus it's produced and released under the A24 banner. So that's a, you know, one of these production companies that's just pumping out, pumping out content that I'm thoroughly enjoying. So the Iron Claw is definitely one that I'm highly anticipating for this month of December. Next up, we have Aquaman in the Last Kingdom. And I know a lot of people might not be anticipating this one, but for me, you know, my wife, she's a huge Jason Momoa fan. We are huge DC fans and I got to find out what they're going to do with Aquaman, even though this probably has no implications whatsoever when it comes to James Gunn universe. This is probably going to be the end. That's it. The whole kit and caboodle. But yeah, Time to find out what they're going to do with Jason Momoa's character and what this film turned out to be because I know James Wan and them, this is a lot of troubled production and pre-production and post-production and all kinds of stuff that's been going on during this film on the, on the cusp of it being released. So I still want to see it. Is it going to be a dumpster fire? Could be. Is it going to be a hidden gem? Who knows? But yeah, I'm definitely eager to see this one. Next up, we have Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire. This is a Zack Snyder project that's going to be released on Netflix, I believe, December 22nd. And I'm excited this for this one because I'm just a huge supporter of Zack Snyder. I love pretty much everything that Zack Snyder's put out. I really appreciate his vision as a director, his creativity, and the work that he puts into his projects. So I'm definitely excited to see what he's going to bring to the table with this one because he said in, I think, an interview that this is kind of like his Star Wars. So I'm excited because I'm, I'm a fucking 
huge Star Wars fan, so if this is going to be kind of Zack Snyder's dipping his toes into that sci-fi fantasy realm, you know, I'm definitely going to be all in on this. So these are, like I said, five films that I'm eager to watch and get in this December. I'm definitely going to try to because, like I said, when it comes to January, I'm going to hopefully do a live stream so I'll be ranking all the films that I saw throughout 2023. I know I didn't see every film. Of course, that's like basically almost impossible, but I know I didn't see every film, but I'm going to try to get a good chunk in so I can have like a good 60 or 70 films to be ranking for that live stream. But I hope you guys enjoyed this list and please let me know down in the comments section if there's any films that you are eager to watch, ones that you skipped out on this year that you still haven't seen that you want to watch or stuff that's coming out during December that you're anticipating. I would love to discuss with you down below. Be sure to like this video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Poke that notification bell because you want to be notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.